In part one of this video series, we created a gift entry batch. Now it's time to add donations into that batch. The first check we have to enter is for $100 from Robbie Chase. Starting in the donor information section, indicate this is from an individual donor by choosing contact one as the donor type. Use the existing contact donor lookup field to search for Robbie Chase. He appears to be a new donor. We could add him as a contact by clicking on Show All Results for Robbie Chase, but instead, let's add information about him directly on the form. In the Add or Edit Contact section, enter all of the contact information we know about Robbie. As the batch is processed, Robbie will be saved as a new contact. Complete the rest of the appropriate fields for this gift, tabbing easily between cells. Click Save and Enter New Gift to add this gift to the batch list at the bottom of the screen. Next, let's enter a $1,500 gift from Acme Foundation. Because this gift is from a company in donor type, choose Account 1 this time and search for Acme Foundation. There it is. The message at the top of the page tells us that Acme Foundation has existing open opportunities or payments. Click Review Donations to review the existing donations. This way, we'll avoid entering duplicate opportunities awaiting payments. Select Add New Payment to add a new payment to Acme Foundation's existing open opportunity. If we don't choose to match an open gift, the batch would instead create a new opportunity and payment. Enter the donation amount, the donation date, and any other details, and save and enter new gift. As we add gifts to the batch, you'll notice the summary section at the bottom of the screen stays up to date. We'll see the total count and total amount fields for all the gifts added to the batch. Once we have finished entering all gifts, we will need to process the batch. Check out MPSP documentation for more info on entering and processing batches with gift entry.